This is the specialised Alley Comp Sprint disc of Peter Sagan of the Bora Hands Grower team. And yep, you've guessed right, it's an aluminium bike. He's going to be using it later on in the Tour Down Under Classic Criterium. His teammates, well, they're hovering in the background and they're ready to go out for a ride on it. So I've got to be quick, but I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Starting with the most obvious change from Sagan's normal road bike, we've got the Alley Sprint disc frame. The Alley Sprint was launched back in 2015 as a bike made for Criterium racers on a budget. It basically allowed you to go out and race a properly top-end race bike without having to worry about destroying a super expensive carbon bike if you were to crash. The bit that really sets the Alley Sprint apart from the competition is the Delucio Smart Weld technology that moves the welds away from the normal points as you can see here. Specialized claims that this leads to greater stiffness and improved comfort over traditionally welded aluminium bikes. Sagan, he chose to ride a 56 centimeter frame with a silver paint job that fades into the Bora hands grower team green around the seat tube. I've got to say, I really think this is a great looking bike because those colours, they popped out across the mechanics area at the Tour Down Under. Uh, now finally, the frame set comes with a fact carbon fibre fork from Specialized. There's actually the same fork that comes with the top of the range Specialized Tarmax and that is finished in the same metallic silver as the rest of the bike. Let's move on then to the other really big thing to talk about with this bike, the wheels and the tyres. Sagan's bike is fitted with the Super Aero 64mm deep Roval CLX 64 wheels, but the three-time world champion doesn't race on the stock wheels of course because, well, he's had the bearings upgraded to ceramic speed ones, so he's trying to wring out every little bit of speed possible. Now you might have noticed that Sagan's bike appears to still have the lock nuts around the valves, but oh no, this bike is actually fitted with tubeless tyres. It's pretty much unheard of for the pros to ride tubeless tyres in races, so this is a pretty big move by Bora Hands Grower. And well, they weren't actually using them for any other races there at the Tour Down Under, just this one particular race. The wheels, they are actually fitted with a pair of specialised turbo rapid air tyres in 26mm width. Moving on to the drivetrain, while well, Sagan's bike is fitted with the pretty much standard Shimano Durace Di2 group set, this one being the 9170 model, and he's got an 11 to 28 cassette fitted, which is the most popular amongst the pros. Up front, Sagan has chosen the non-standard 5439 chain set, which is useful to give him just that extra gear in a top-end sprint and he's gone for size 172.5 millimeter cranks and fitted to the chain set is the specialized power meter that we first spotted at the tour down under last year and it's also fitted with a ceramic speed bottom bracket too and a pair of shimano dura ace 9100 spdsl pedals brakes sagan is using the shimano dura ace 9170 hydraulic discs and as is increasingly common in the pro peloton he opts for 140 millimeter rotor at the back and a 160 millimeter in the front. That way he gets better braking performance at the front where you really do need it. As Sagan has done for a number of years now, Sagan chooses a massive 150 millimeter zip sprint SL stem with the logos covered up as Bora Hansgrohe aren't sponsored by Zip themselves. Now I can't confirm this, but apparently one of the reasons that Sagan still chooses to use that stem is that he likes the 12 degrees rise on it. Now connected to the front plate of the stem is the K-Edge Wahoo Element Bolt out front mount. Connected also to the stem are a set of the S-Works Aero Fly Bars in 42 centimeters width. Now the bars, they're wrapped in the very grippy Super Kaz Super Sticky Cushed Bar Tape. That's quite a mouthful. And Sagan also opts for a set of the sprint shifters set up just below the Dura Ace Di2 brake levers there on the drops. Moving backwards, connected to the S-Works Fact Carbon seat post is a specialised Roman Evo saddle. And then stuck to the back of the seat post is a number holder that interestingly hasn't got any tape or zip ties to make sure it stays stuck on. The mechanics instead, well, they clearly trust their glue. Finally, Sagan uses Tax Ciro bottle cages and also has a K-Edge chain catcher fitted to the front derailleur. 
Measurements wise, well, let's take a look at them. Well, from the center of the bottom bracket to the top of the saddle, that's 76 centimeters. And from the tip of the saddle to the center of the bars, 62.5. And the weight of it, a very respectable 7.84 kilos. There we are. Let me know what you think of this bike down there in the comments section. I think it's fantastic that Sagan is taking to the start line, along with a couple of his teammates, for the first kind of opening big race of the season. So get involved in the comments section. Don't forget too, to like and share this video with your friends. Give it a big old thumbs up. And also check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. And now for another great video. How about clicking just down here? I better give this one back to Peter now. He's not happy.